Hey Toronto, this week we're going to talk about Porchetta. It's on sale online and in store all week, so I want to take the time out to explain what it is. There's a lot of debate in the food world over what exactly a porchetta is. Whether it's pork shoulder, whether it's pork belly, whether it's a pork shoulder wrapped in a pork belly. Do you put skin on half of it? Do you put skin around the whole thing? What exactly is the spice mix? It's a huge debate that I'm not going to get into. All I'm going to do is tell you the way that the Healthy Butcher and RealFoodToronto.com make our porchetta. Here we go. All right, so starting with the pork shoulder, we're going to remove the spine and neck bones. So this is just done by cutting in underneath them, and I'm just going to roll this whole bone structure off. A lot of butchery helps when you've got a left hand that's constantly pulling as your right hand does the cutting. This way it takes a lot of the strain off, things get a bit easier. So, spine bones removed. Next up I'm going to roll the eye of the pork butt off here. Some people would refer to that as the capicola muscle. So I'm scraping it along the shoulder blade bone and I'm just rolling this nice muscle towards me. All right, next step with the porchetta is we're gonna butterfly this whole muscle open. So my muscle is butterflied nicely now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of our house-made porchetta rub in there. So this is just a mix of pepper, garlic, chilies, red wine, and some olive oil and rosemary. So as much or as little as you would like goes on the inside, and then again goes on the top. Now that our roast is seasoned, we're gonna remove the skin from the other side of the shoulder and use that to wrap the roast. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of fat on so that we get some nice crackling over this piece, but not so much that you're chewing through these thick pieces of fat. And you can use the skin off the shoulder as I'm doing. You can also use the flat sheet of skin that you would get off the loin. You can even use the belly skin for what it's worth. As long as you've got a nice piece of skin, it just adds a lot to the roast. So you can see I'm just making little cuts with the end of my knife. And this just gives me the accuracy that I need to pull this skin off properly. All right, so now that I've got a nice sheet of skin, I'm just gonna square it off a little, little bit. And I'm actually gonna score the skin itself. And that's gonna allow the marinade to get right into the skin too. So putting my roast on top of the skin, now I'm gonna grab my butcher's twine and tie this thing together. So. Regular butcher's knot is what I'm using. I'm starting from the middle, just because it usually gives you a more even roast. When you start at one end or the other, roasts have the tendency to snake out on you as you tie them, and no one wants a roast that looks like a snake. I try and keep my ties fairly even too, not really for any technical reason, just looks a lot prettier if my ties are all spaced out as even as possible. So now that the roast is tied, I'm just gonna square off the ends. Look at that thing. Beautiful roast, really flavorful. Like I said, they're on sale this week, so pick one up in store or online at realfoodtoronto.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good week.